I see three game changes here in the payments industry which um, are driving this mobile digital future for us and everyone in this room, all our organizations, we need to adapt. And because of this incredible uh, new mobile digital world and the power that is in, in internet and mobile connection to internet, it's reached a point where it's innovate or die. There is no uh, middle way between the two. So the three characteristics that I briefly want to talk about before I hand over to Dan are customer centricity. Uh, it's a new era of consumer power. Think about all those mobile devices and the power that the global brain of internet gives to each consumer of whatever age. Secondly, uh, the second characteristic is we have channel convergence. This is already happening in the ATM industry with, for example, cardless ATM transactions. Uh, there's some incredible uh, success stories of cardless ATM transactions. I'll just give one example. Um, you can buy UCash from 42,000 42, um, retailers worldwide, and you can buy um, goods online with, with UCash. But now, uh, in a partnership with Bank Machine in the UK, you can uh, cash out your outstanding UCash um, at ATMs in, uh, with Bank Machine. Um, and that's just what, uh, and it's all done cardlessly. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that how big is the cardless um, uh, transactions going to be on, on ATMs? And how important is that in uh, bringing the unbanked um, into uh, our industry? For example, in South Africa, where I live, there are 10 million people on social grants, I think you call them uh, benefits in the US. And these uh, 10 million people all have social grant cards. So they've become card holders for the first time. And on the day that social grants are paid electronically, uh, there are queues at all our ATMs. And uh, people cash out the social grant. Just like in the US, I believe last year, uh, Kurt, correct me if I'm wrong, $136 billion uh, worth of EBTs were transferred. A lot of them were accessed via ATMs, and that generated $500 million um, uh, in fees. So these 10 million social grant cardholders have just were previously unbanked, and they are now um, being brought into the payments industry. So the third characteristic that I want to talk about is competition between banks and non-bank providers of financial services. This is huge. And that's why I say this competition is so ruthless and so, world, so global and so huge in scale that it's innovate or die. 